Welcome to the CB Reflective Practice Paradigm Module. This is a course team guide for scaffolding reflective practice in your courses. The aim of the Reflective Practice Paradigm is to provide a scaffolded approach to teaching and assessing reflective practice with standards appropriate to the three stages of reflective practice learning. We're going to be looking at the new reflective learner, the developing reflective learner, and the Embarking Reflective Practitioner. So let's look in a little more detail about the Reflective Practice Paradigm. You'll notice that there are three stages. What we've called for Stage 1, the what's. The second framework for Stage 2 is called the four R's. And the third framework is called PRAC. They are not meant to represent year levels, but they can. The idea is that when we're, we have got a new reflective learner, we introduce them to the what model. And then at the second stage, we can also layer the what model with the four R's principle. And then we can use at the third stage, the PRAC model. The idea is that all learners learn in different ways and each reflective task may require a different medium or a different mode in which to reflect. So the paradigm has three models and each stage follows a particular framework. In stage one, we've got the what, so what and now what model. In stage two, we've got the four R's, which are about reporting, relating and reasoning and reconstructing. And the third framework intended usually for third year, but not necessarily, is the PRAC model, which is process, report, analyze and continual learning. You choose the most appropriate model for the year level and depending on if the students have prior experience with the reflective practices, but essentially the paradigm is meant to be used as an overall framework to be adapted from first year through to third year. So we have three frameworks, but the intention for each of these is for the student to be able to synthesise and evaluate experiences. That stays exactly the same. In terms of expectations, we're expecting students at the first level to be novices. So they're able to provide novice syntheses and evaluations of their experiences. And then at the third level, we'd expect them to be somewhere around the area of expert. So expert synthesis and evaluation of experiences. So within the paradigm, there are three suggested unit learning outcomes slightly different. In, at the first stage, we might say something like, on completion of this unit, you should be able to evidence reflective practice using the what model. At the second stage, you might say, on completion of this unit, you should be able to evidence reflective practice using the what and four R's models. And then at the third stage, you'd be asking your students to evidence reflective practice using a range of methods. In other words, we're developing the student to become an expert reflective practitioner with the toolkit of having the what model, the what and the four R's model, and then in the third year also having the PRAC model to add to their repertoire. So the burning question is why three models? Why not just one? Aside from the fact that student-centred learning needs to allow for multiple learning styles, the three models stems from a need for flexibility in the scaffolded approach to allow for different authentic tasks within different contexts and with different assessment tasks to enable higher order learning outcomes. So the point of difference about the what model is that there are really just three simple questions that need to relate directly to the will framework, which is about in first at the first stage navigating the world of work. So when concepts of employability are really fresh and new to students when they've just started their degree, as well as the reflection process, we need them to be able to have an easy access into the reflective practice process. It's an easy model to apply and to remember. 
the detailed structure is the point of difference for the four R's. So when we're engaging with the focus in, at the second stage in the will framework about interacting with others, the academic rigour needs to really take um, to be sharpened here. So it's been developed so far in first year and in second year and students have get, gotten used to reporting and for teamwork models throughout their first and second year units. And so this particular four R's model works in really well when we're trying to apply breadth and depth. And finally, the point of difference for the PRAC model is about process in action. So when they're on placement, students need to practice the process of reflection in different ways, for different situations at different times, um, to learn to be a reflective practitioner. So we hope we've got your interest. You can find out more in Part B of the Reflective Practice Paradigm module series. And this is where we'll go into the details about the learning outcomes and the pedagogies and the types of assessments that might be appropriate for each stage. So we hope you found this really useful and we look forward to seeing you in the next module.